Welcome everybody to Waterbox Live. We are here <laughs> Wednesday every week and every week. we're excited. Um, Blue Friday's upon us. It's yes. getting really, really close. Um, it is. We are about a week and a half. Oh man, can't wait. And we're going to help guide people towards how to choose your water box yep. for Blue Friday. Yep. Um, so we're going to go through all the models, you know, do little knowledges about different ways, you know, deciding factors of what to do to pick your water box. Yeah. So we, we see it all the time. A lot of people don't know exactly how to choose their water box. They, they don't know whether to go with the Marine Axe or the Reef or the all-in-one or the cube, so on and so forth. So we're going to walk you through that today. Um, but first, we'll drop that intro. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Um, yeah. <laughs> Keenan's working on that one. <laughs> we'll get this eventually, I swear. <laughs> And we're back. You gotta um, love that intro, though. If you guys uh, are listening, you need to turn your speakers up when that comes on. Jam out. It yeah. is very catchy. Love yeah. it. Um, but some people may be actually thinking, okay, I'm tuned in. Been a little busy the last couple weeks. What are they talking about with Blue Friday? Yeah, what is Blue Friday? Well, we're going to tell you again today, you guys. Um, if you don't know about Blue Friday, it's something we do every year, the first Friday of November. It is the only day that we run a sale on our products. Um, but it's not just about the sales, it's about the education. It's kind of a big deal. It is. It is. Um, so not <laughs> only are we doing you know, sales on our product for the one time per year, but we have all day that we're bringing in guests, we're talking about the industry and the mm -hmm. hobby, um, you know, a lot of education and really cool stuff to watch and see. And you know, it's really an all day event. I mean, we have that, but we also have so much giveaways that it's oh absolutely goodness. insane. Um, you probably lost your mind this time. Every year we try to top what we did the previous year, and this year we spared no expense on it. We have over five, we have five thousand dollars in gift cards for Waterbox Aquariums. We have T-shirts. We got Ecotech Marine products, MP40, MP10, Versa, all the AI products. ORA is giving away some fish and corals. I mean, this is all day long. You got to be in the streams to win. Um, and the grand prize, the way that you win that is through the entry form that you see right below the prizes. $2,500 gift card. Yeah. I mean, that, that's going to buy you a tank or pretty far into a really yeah. big tank. I already see people posting on our Facebook group, like, what are you going to spend it on if you win? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's I, well, last year I think it was like a thousand. Like, thousand, it yeah. went way up this year. We went from year. one thousand to five thousand. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit crazy. 5X. Um, so here's your entry form. Sign up here. This is the only way that you can be entered in to win the grand prize giveaway, which is going to be the final episode of the day, which is at 7 mm -hmm. p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will pick from the viral sweep here. Um, this is open to a lot of different countries. It is. So specifically, if you guys want to enter to win, you got to be in the U.S., Canada, United Kingdom, and there's select European countries as well that can win the, these mm -hmm. prizes. So we're doing this worldwide this year. This is the first time we've done it. So if you want to participate in Blue Friday, we're going to be live all day. But also the sales are running in the U.S., Canada, United Kingdom, as well as Europe. So everybody can participate. I believe also Australia is participating as well. Yeah, so the sales, um, I know at least for the the ones that we're doing, is going to be for Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and the sales are not announced until the first show, which yeah. is at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will not know them before then. Everything will be dropped at that point. Yes. You got to um, tune in. You got to tune in. You got to tune in. <laughs> we have a big announcement to make at that point as well we do we do we've made a couple announcements prior to the show which you can also see there on the blue friday page but we also have a very very special announcement that we <gasps> cannot something big is coming soon yes. that's all we can tell you <clears throat> um, this is tremendous i'm very excited for this one yes yeah, so this is gonna be a big deal and if you haven't watched recently we did also announce um a few changes to some of our lines mm -hmm. so the Pro five and six foot sizes are now into the reef line. Yep. And the two foot 70.2 
is out. Yep. And then for the frag, this is pretty exciting because people have been asking this for a long time. Yeah. The frag line now has a five and six foot. So um, you're up to 165 gallon frag. And if you've seen our four foot build that we did, um, I don't know, probably ended a month or so ago. Yeah. It was a 10 week build we did. Um, go check it out. And that was just the four foot frag. And we did amazing things with it. It was absolutely beautiful. I can't imagine when these five and six foot get out on the market. Um, you know, and then the two people. foot is going away from that line. Yeah. So I already see a few of our owners posting. Ready to go. I'm upgrading my frag. <laughs> Some people that might have a three or a four foot, they're like, I'm going to the six foot. <clears throat> that is going to be an amazing system. I'm looking forward to seeing one. I want one here. The problem is we got that beautiful four foot set up that needs, needs a while to mature. I know. That might eventually end up going into a six foot. You never could, know. You never know. We got the space on that wall. Mm -hmm. um, but that frag is doing so good. Definitely check out that build. It was a really good build. Yeah. Um, we use all the Ecotech equipment on there, super high end, mm -hmm. beautiful corals from worldwide. Um, you know, so get your inspiration for your frag there. Yeah. So if you guys head one. over to our YouTube channel, um, after the stream, that build was specifically titled, I think, how to set up a reef aquarium. Mm -hmm. um, and we used the FRAG 105.4 for the whole build, all worldwide corals, uh, livestock. So it was pretty cool. Yes. 10 series, or 10 week episode. It was a good series. one. Yes. They can actually check it out too if they go on the website to WB Studios. I'll scroll all the way up. We'll show it here in a second. Okay, so they can bring them on the website where you can actually go and find. Yeah, um, WB Studio. And then on the left hand side, we have build series. Oh, okay. And we have all the series there that we've done so far. So the battle, the nano aquariums, and the reef yeah. environment. Very cool. So yeah, easy link on the website. Waterbox Studios is going to show you a lot of our recent live shows and also build series on to the left. Um, so not only do we have the announcements that we've made recently, we've got a new announcement to make on Blue Friday, but we have a great lineup of people coming, um, mostly virtual. You know, just because of yep. the way things <laughs> are now. Thing. That it's thing. Because of that thing. Um, so a lot of them are going to be virtually coming into, and we're going to be streaming um, almost every single hour from 11 to 7 yep. that day. And we have some really great guests and giveaways each stream. And you can actually find that schedule on the website. And then those little blocks right there will actually link you to the YouTube stream. That yeah, so be very for. soon we will be posting the actual videos there. So, you know, if you're heading over to YouTube to watch, you can click on each video and hit get remind or remind me. Um, and again, Blue Friday is not just about the sale. The, the reason that we started doing Blue Friday was for the education. Yes. We wanted to bring in really uh, prominent industry speakers and professionals and teach you guys about different aspects of the industry mm -hmm. and keeping aquariums, so on and so forth. So Blue Friday, it's really about the education. And we got some really amazing sales to go along with yes. it and announcements. We've as always, always been big about growing the industry, the hobby, all mm -hmm. of that, and then kind of guiding and educating our way through. So, you know, all the speakers and stuff that are coming in are going to go along with that um, yeah. concept as well. So, I mean, we've got AI and Ecotech coming. We have um, ORA. We've got yeah. Reef Dudes. We've got Reef News Network. I mean, a lot of great people. We have a fragging demonstration going on. We do. On. And we have one of my favorite that I'm looking forward to. Because um, if you, you guys know, Waterbox is also available in Europe. We have our good friend Sea Friendly Reef. It's a YouTube channel. His name's Tobias. He's going to be live with us, Skyping in to talk about reefing in Europe. Yeah. So and for all I'm the freshwater people, because we love you, we promise, yes. <laughs> um, is Aquapros is going to be here. He was here last year. Um, was a great stream. So he's going to kind of talk about how to get started with your freshwater, especially when you want to do the planted and all the things mm -hmm. you need to consider. Um, and he's a lot of fun to talk to, so that's going to be a good stream as well. So check out the schedule. You'll see giveaways for each stream. You do need to be in them. You need to be actively participating, and yeah. that's how we're going to pick our winners for those. And those of you guys that are in here, make sure you like this stream. If you're not subscribed to us already, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and hit that notification bell because, again, you're not, we're live every week, but also for Blue Friday, we're live every hour. So you're not going to want to miss it's that. It's a long day, but it's a yeah. really good day. Keenan. Can we show these guys the YouTube or the Blue Friday promotional video so they sure. get a quick overview? One second. No worries. Ready? Ready. Get ready for Blue Friday, November 6th from 11 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There'll be over $10,000 in prizes plus savings up to 20%. Special guests all day long dropping knowledges. 
Blue Friday only happens once per year, so make sure to visit waterboxaquariums.com forward slash Blue Friday for the full details. There you have it guys, quick overview of Blue Friday. You do not want to miss out on this. If you're in the market for an aquarium, whether you're in the United States or worldwide, you want to tune in for this. Even if you already own a water box, you're not buying a water box, tune in because this is amazing. It's been a lot of fun. Either way, I mean, if you're looking for a tank or not, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's giveaways, you know, you can't go wrong. Um, and it kind of leads us to why we're doing the topic we are today is, yeah. You know, a lot of people getting into the hobby, especially, are looking at all different models. You got cubes, you got all in ones, you got marines, you got reef. Um, you know, what models, like, what do you go with depending on your needs and stuff like that, and how to kind of like navigate the models and how to decide right. what, which water box is the correct one for you? So we kind of broke it down and comparing each model to the size up from it yep. and showing the differences and kind of talking about like, kind of guiding you. And it's nice because all we, what we did on the bottom of each product page is we put that comparison chart on the bottom. So you can go see there easily. If you want even more detail, go to the technical specs page yep. and find out all the measurements that you could possibly want. Um, and it's in multiple places per page. So it's very easy to find. Yes. If you want to find the technical <laughs> specs, they're there. You can find them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Uh, inside joke. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, like she said, we have a lot of aquariums because that's what we do. We manufacture glass aquariums, so it can be a little daunting sometimes. So again, if you want to find those comparison charts, they're at the very bottom of the uh, product details page. Mm -hmm. And I think we can probably jump right into the... Just let me know whenever you want to show. Yeah, you want to jump into the, Let's the do slides? It. So we, guys, we kind of broke down these comparison charts for you just to give you a quick overview of this addition to each website. So kind of like going kind of briefly overview on here. You can look a little bit more detail. We're kind of pointing out the things that are the biggest difference between the two models. Yeah. Um, you know, most people, if they're looking, they're looking between two very similar models and they're not right. looking at a cube versus a peninsula. Right. right. Um, so we're going to kind of break it down by the next closest model. So our first one's like the cube versus the peninsula mini. Um, and really the main differences you're looking at is their shape Yep. for the most part. So the peninsula Dimensions. is going to be a little bit bigger in gallon size. you got a 15 and 25 versus a 10 and 20 like the cube. And yep. then your dimensions are going to be a little bit different as far as your length and depth of the aquarium. The filtration's the same. Um, you know, the filter stock, all of that is the same. It doesn't vary. Yep. It's truly really the size difference. And the cube 20 does have a stand available. Yep. Um, whereas the Peninsula Minis do not have one designed specifically for them. So minimal changes, it's really kind of footprint that you're looking for on those. Excellent. So you got, then you're taking like the Peninsula Mini or Cube um, against the all-in-one. And this is really the same concept as right. all-in-ones, um, as the filtration's all in the back. And you're going to be looking at the fact that the all-in-one goes into a much bigger size and we now have up to 48 inches. Right, the 65.4, which is relatively new. Um, the Cube, P-Mini, as we call it, and the AIO are all within what we would call an all-in-one range. So mm -hmm. you can see a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. so. so yeah, your filtration stuff is all contained in the back. There's no plumbing, there's no sump. That's all the same with those. Um, you know, it's really the length, width, height that you're going to be looking at. And you're going to be able to go bigger with the all-in-one. The cubes and peninsula minis do come with a return pump, all-in-ones don't, and there are matching cabinets for all the all-in-one models, whereas only the cube 20 has a cabinet available, not the peninsula minis or the cube 10. So a few things to figure, if you want to not go with the sump, but you want something bigger, you got all the way up to four foot with all-in-ones. Very, yeah. very popular, actually. I see we have people in here, you know, that are also trying to decide, Salty Cups is trying to decide if I want your all-in-one or one of your new tanks with a sump. So that's what we're trying to show you guys today is you know, how do I, <clears throat> what sways me in one direction or another? Because we have very extensive product line mm -hmm. and you're getting into it, especially if you're new to the hobby and don't quite know exactly what you want or need. That's what we're. Yeah. So between you. these two, there's not much of a deciding factor purely except for size of it. Um, you know, and with all in ones, the cabinets are optional, but I do recommend putting them on one of our cabinets just because of their size and their weight. Um, water is eight pounds a gallon plus sand plus rock, like they do get heavy. Your mm -hmm. average dresser or countertop is not meant to really hold an all-in-one as well. Um, so do consider, you know, the cabinets that are available for those 
one purchasing one for sure. They yep. get heavy quick, and you don't realize quite um, how much you need the cabinet to support right. it. Right. I, I, you definitely need to make sure you know what the weight capacity of whatever you're putting your aquarium on. All of our cabinets are designed to hold much more than they are holding. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all crush tested and engineered specifically for aquariums. So just be yeah. very careful with that. So that's when we now we start to kind of get towards, um, you know, bigger differences between the model. We're leaving, you know, just all-in-one contained filtration. So we're gonna compare the all-in-one to the Marine X, which is our newest uh, release that we did. We did a build on uh, a reveal, basically on that one. You can see up and running for the 110. Yeah. Um, beautiful system and you know you do get a larger water volume and size with the Marine X is um, you're going up to 110 gallons versus the 65 yep. and then you have a sump and this is where your main difference difference comes in is that you actually have a sump in the cabinet and you've got the plumbing kit it's a quick kind of like plug and play no gluing required plumbing kit um, and then your filter socks are down there. You've got room for protein skimmer. You need a return pump, reactors. You can do more filtration with these. So they're gonna handle more livestock. They're gonna be a little bit more stable, more water volume. You've got the ATO built into the sump. That's a big deal. One yes. of my favorite things about having the sump down below. Also, uh, you know, just having the sump, you know, when you're considering this, you know, with an all-in-one, you have to keep your filtration kind of hanging off the back mm -hmm. of the tank. Um, whereas if you go with like, a Marine X over the all-in-one. You have the sump underneath. You can put your filtration, your media. You got the filter socks and your ATO reservoir, which is it's a nice feature to have. It is. It uh, is. Not everyone wants to go that route because the the complexity is a little bit more advanced with the setup, but um, it's it's a nice benefit to have. Yeah, I mean, if you can go with a sump, I always feel that it is beneficial um, because you can have more equipment and you can yeah. house more in there. Your water's be more stable. You know, with an all-in-one, if you do have a protein skimmer, it's kind of in the back chambers, whereas below it's going to be hidden in the sump. And then just more water volume, and they're actually it's actually going to be a wider system as well. Yeah. In general, for a lot of the the model sizes, so you're going to have more space in there, and then just the the ability to filter your water even more. Whenever you're talking like a little bit more sensitive corals or more fish, that's really important. Yeah. And, and if you were to compare the all-in-one to the Marine X in regards to freshwater or saltwater, the Marine X, just as the name states, is designed for saltwater. So typically when we're keeping like a reef aquarium or something like that, mm -hmm. we want the sump, um, if at all possible, because there tends to be more equipment that you want to hide, right? Yes, yes, there is. Um, whereas with the freshwater, not, you don't always have that much equipment and the need for a protein skimmer or a media reactor and so on and so forth. So the all-in-one could maybe be the better option for freshwater. But again, both of these can be successful in either way. A Marine X, even though it says Marine, can be used for freshwater. I've seen that question a few Oh yeah, times. quite a few. Yeah. Um, and do want to also note, like the Marine X comes with the cabinet included. It mm -hmm. can't be purchased separately. So that, when you see it on the website, that price includes your um, cabinet cabinetry. Tree. Yep. And whereas all in one, it has to be added on separately. So, you know, do consider that is a full setup right there. Cabinet, sump, tank, everything. Um, you know, but it's a good, kind of easy way to get into the sump scenario yeah. of things. It's simplified the plumbing super easy. Um, you know, it'll take you like five, 10 minutes to get that plumbing up and running and you're good to go. You know, on the all-in-one subject, uh, Reef Hacks says many people underestimate all-in-one systems because of the lack of space for filtration. Um, but he mentions that they have a 50.3 that they use for breeding clownfish, over 500 clownfish wow. inside. Um, so even professional breeding of clownfish can be done in an all-in-one. So, while we push in the direction of having a sump, you can see that you can be equally successful with a reef tank and an all-in-one. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have a ton of people. Check out our user group on Facebook. Um, it's a great source of inspiration and information. Yeah. Um, Waterbox uh, Aquarium's official group on Facebook. You'll see all-in-ones, marines, everything used for everything possible. Um, there's no real limitations. We're just mm -hmm. showing the benefits of kind of in the differences between them. And models. it is Wednesday, so, so cheers, y'all. Cheers. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, we want to move to the next one because I yeah. am controlling this now. You are, you are. I am. So I'm looking at Canada. Like, this is right. new. You guys can see I have my laptop up here, so I'm, I have a little bit of a say in how quickly the show progresses, I guess. I could just sit on one slide for like 45 minutes, and Keenan's going to be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> 
switch back and forth. Um, <laughs> we do have questions coming in, so if you okay. have any, let me know. I know you can leave them up there. Yeah, we can take a couple questions if you have any. Yeah. Yeah. You, you sort of answered all these as, as well, but um, Adam Gold is asking, why would I go with a sump versus an all-in-one? Kind of scared of having the water leave the tank and going back in, in case it leaks. Well, the good thing about um, water box and the sumps is the tanks and the sumps are designed to where they really don't have the ability to overflow if you don't have something like an all to top off or whatever that malfunctions and puts too much water in. The yeah. backflow amount and the size of the sump um, does allow for a lot of back drain and um, also like your filter stock chambers. The divider area is a mm -hmm. little bit lower than the outside rim. Um, so granted, there may be some increased chance of overflow. Everything we do for the design has minimalized that. Right. So you really, I mean, you really kind of have to push way too much water through the system or completely neglect the system for it to overflow. Right. And to neglect it, your ATO is hooked up to a 15 gallon system that dumps all of it in. Yeah. Like something kind of out of the usual realm of things that would happen for your sump or your tank or anything yeah. to overflow. So and, and not those, really a concern. Yeah, a lot of those nuances too, um, you know, as a beginner, you might not really think about those things. You know, they're automatic to us, but you might not think of them. And that's why we mentioned, go over to our Facebook group and check it out, because you guys can ask these guys anything. There's 10,000 people in there um, that keep aquariums, water boxes. Um, so definitely use that as a resource. Yeah. I got another question here from Jared. He's asking, Can you pull this up full screen? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of looking at the slide. <laughs> I'm do a couple things here. Okay. No, that's all right. So Jared is asking, I've seen some videos where people create a mini refugium in one of the back sections of an all-in-one type of an aquarium. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I've seen it done in the all-in-ones and also any of the sump systems making their own little baffle sets yeah. or just like a contained refugium. Refugiums are nothing but, I would say, beneficial. They do take a little bit more work, a little bit more setup, a little bit more kind of time and investment, but they're good. I mean, they give live food to the system. Mm -hmm. The macroalgae growing takes out nutrients. There's no harm to a refugium if you do it correctly, Right. but it is going to take a little bit more effort on your part to set it up and maintain it yeah. than if you didn't have one. Um, and like I said, kind of goes back to the Facebook group. You can go in there. You can see how people have changed their sump all in ones. Um, made their own little mini refugiums in the auto top of area and the skimmer chamber. So many different ways to do it. Um, you can't necessarily go wrong with adding one. Yeah, you can't. I've used them in the past myself. They're much more popular now than they used to be. So you can yeah. say maybe that me and Jess are a bit old school in that regard. But um, if, if you were to ask me, I mean, we include a refugium section in our larger systems mm -hmm. because we want that availability of it. Uh, but if you ask me, I don't like messing with it. I, I prefer, and again, this is my opinion, there's a thousand ways to keep an mm -hmm. aquarium, probably millions. Millions, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't like them. Here's the thing, like, okay, if you're doing a system like and you're like determined that you want to have a mandarin or pipefish or things that require a lot of live food, you almost have to have a refugium to even somewhat keep up with their demands. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like in those scenarios, like they're a must have. Yeah. Um, whereas as a general rule, if you can do regular water changes, it's going to generally serve a lot of the same purpose. You're going to get a lot of those live pods and stuff growing in your tank anyway, through mm. live rot <coughs> and all that. Um, beneficial, but not necessary, we'll say. Cheers. All right, I have another <laughs> question here. Um, this one's come up a couple times. Um, and it's regarding Blue Friday. Uh, will local fish stores be participating in Blue Friday? Yes, so um, absolutely. We have, primarily in the United States, uh, we do have a number of local fish stores that will participate. Again, it's up to their discretion. So if you want to buy a water box on them on Blue Friday, give them a call now and let them know. You yeah, know. find out if they're participating with the You don't know what the discount's going to be till the morning of, uh, but definitely give them a call. And if they're participating, you can drive down there that morning and buy, it, buy the water box from them. So yep. absolutely. Perfect. All right, back to the slides. All righty, back to our presentation. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, Marine X and Frag. Yeah, so we're taking the Frag because it's technically the next size up. The Frag and Reef are going to be very similar as far as like 
the features and like if you were comparing the two, you could easily compare the Marine X and the Reef the same as you would the Frag. Um, so we're going to look at the main differences here. If we're looking at the Frag, it is going to be water volume. So the Frag and the Reef all now go up to a six foot system. Um, you're looking at 165 and plus gallons, 220. Whereas the Marine X does end at the, like the 110 range in the four foot. And then you also have a wider system with the frags and the reef systems and you know height wise of course the frag is going to be more shallow mm -hmm. the other ones <coughs> are going to be taller and then you've got the um overflow for the marine x is actually like removable uh weir teeth so you can actually right. take that's them a off. new feature that we just added to, it is. to any of our systems typically they're all glass um the overflow on the marine x has a removable weir teeth which allows you to, you know, if you need to, if you need to clean it, you can, you know, put it mm -hmm. in vinegar or maybe like a pump clean kind of yeah. solution to get it all cleaned up. And you can actually see um, us showing that whenever we launched the Marine X. Uh, we showed that on the one we had here in the studio. And then on your like frag and reef, it's going to be a full glass overflow box where there's no removal parts. It's all full glass all the way from top to bottom. And then in your five and six foot range on um, both those, uh, the frag and the reef, has a dividable, removable divider plate for refugium mm -hmm. and also the manifold. Yep. So you're looking at size and some feature changes and these are much, the frag and reef are much wider, whereas the marine series is gonna be a little bit more of a narrow system. So um, and you're gonna have a UV coated cabinet versus a plywood. Yep. I also wanna to note too on the frag that which is also on the reef, this five and six foot have an external ATO reservoir. On the newer models, the five foot will have it. The six foot has always had the reservoir. So I love that feature. I mm -hmm. actually um, was like, we gotta have that. We have two chambers available yeah. in the, the cabinet. We need to use one for ATO because on a system that large, you can evaporate a lot of water. Yeah, like the six foot like we have here, it's this massive external ex you know, ATO reservoir. We fill that up and we're good for a long time. You don't have to fill it. And on big tanks, you don't realize how much they evaporate every single day. Yeah. Um, so not having to lug your bucket of water over there every day or two is wonderful. Love it. And then we have, what is next? The Frag and Reef, okay. This is a pretty easy comparison. Really the only thing you're looking at different is the number of gallons because the reef is going to be taller than the frag so you're going 165 to 220 yep. on your gallon size and then your height so your frag series runs at 16 inches high and then your reef is going to run taller depending on which model it is yep. but all your features otherwise are pretty much almost the same. identical so if you guys look at the frag system you notice that 16 inch height the frag system was derived to be as the name states a frag aquarium you know mm -hmm. keep frags in so on and so forth we've we modified it last year actually i think we released it keenan right blue friday 2019 yeah, yeah, yeah. we released the new version of the frag oh my god has it been a year yeah what yeah. <laughs> what yeah believe it or not wow okay. it was last blue friday i just checked into it i think today maybe oh my um the, the old height used to be 12 inches it was a little short i mean 12 inches is like your typical frag tank mm -hmm. it was a little bit difficult to do you know, anything do else with yeah. yeah and stuff like that so we raised it up to 16 inches brought back the frag people were super happy about it but again you look at the frag of the reef the height of the display is the major difference there that's really all you're going to see so if you want a shallow reef that frag is as you guys may have watched the, the uh, series we recently did mm -hmm. um if you're considering a frag definitely check that out and also they're available in five and six feet now Yes, and I have crazy. someone who has a good question because it's not really included in our comparison. Um, is is there an ATO reservoir in the Peninsula tank? So pretty much the same features that are in the five and six foot of the mm -hmm. reef series is going to be similar to the five and six foot Peninsula yep. that we have. Um, it's of course the cabinets are going to be double sided with doors, and you know the orientation of the tank itself is different right, but the right. sizes are so very, you're taking very the you're taking the reef pro that runs you know horizontally to the wall you're turning it perpendicular so the configuration of what's underneath changes but the features are more or less the same. right you still have the manifold you still have the re removal uh, refugium plate you've got the external ato 
Um, you know, it's just the cabinet's going to have actually access from both sides, which is a really cool feature yeah. for a peninsula. And um, I don't think we did a comparison for that because it's really the same features along all of the Yeah, you take the, the reef five and six foot or the reef 180.5 and 220.6. Yep. And you look at the peninsula 50, or 6026 and 70. 225. 7225, <laughs> 6025, and 7225. We've had a lot of aquariums. They all tr kind of just like turn into mush in my brain. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, those are going to be very same. Questions? Yeah. Um, Some people are asking um, what are good options for lids for the aquariums? We actually here, and you'll see it on a lot of our builds that we've done recently, is we use a DD jump guard. Yeah. Um, it's a build your own kind of kit. It comes with all the little um, pieces to make cutouts and yeah. all the screen and stuff like that. And it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to put together. It'll take a little bit of effort, but it is nice. Extremely it's affordable. Extremely affordable. Yeah. There's a lot of aftermarket companies that are doing them. Those are going to be really fancy. They're going to cost you a whole lot more, a longer wait time. Um, so it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want something simple and affordable, or you want something real fancy. Yeah, you can go and get like those, there's a lot of custom like acrylic uh, lids. You can choose your cutouts, you can choose yeah, feeding you want, holes like, a little and feeding hole and stuff. doors and stuff like that. So um, you can get the jump guards on our website when they're in stock. And those, like I said, super affordable and easy. Yeah. Okay, Stuart is asking, what time do the um, Blue Friday sales go live on the UK site? So everything is Eastern, however, I haven't had this discussion yet, but yeah, we're, we're working on the time for, because everything, you know, we're Eastern, so everything goes live Eastern, but there is the possibility that we'll push, I will push those sales live at the uh, appropriate time, so it's 11 your time. Um, that's still a little tentative. Okay. Uh, TBD. Case, TBD, great question though, because um, it's going around in my brain. I just haven't bounced around with the team yet. So uh, as of right now, it's 11 a.m. Eastern, but we're gonna do our best to push it live at your time. Um, the reason for 11 a.m. Eastern is because that's when we are here we going live everything. to you guys. Yeah, so again, uh, just prepare for 11 a.m. Eastern. I think you guys just went back an hour, so I think it's only, we're only a four hour difference right now. So not too bad. All right. I think, is that our last slide? Do we have another slide? We do. We have a quick comparison on the reef and then a coming soon. Oh. So what oh, could man. be in that coming soon? You got to tune in on <laughs> November 6th at 11 a.m. Eastern to find that out because there will be a new Boom. comparison. Boom, you yeah. just teased it. <laughs> nothing, nothing. So if you want to compare the reef to coming soon, uh, <laughs> coming soon has no features. You get nothing. <laughs> you get nothing yet until Blue Friday yes. at 11 a.m. You will find out more. Um, nice, nicely played. Yes. Well played, well played. Yes. Um, so there's some big news coming. There is. We just can't say it yet. We have to hold our mouths shut. We have to give you guys for the another week and a half. Yeah, we got to give you an announcement that there's going to be an, an announcement to then have an announcement to actually know what it is. That's how we roll. That's just how we. That's honestly how we've done it for our whole time. Is we make announcement about announcements. Um, <laughs> But when we do it, y'all are pretty Makes excited. It's good right. stuff. Yeah, it so. is good stuff. You definitely are going to want to see it. I want to mention also, we mentioned last week um, that Canada, waterboxaquariums.ca. Yes. We are finally in Canada. You can hop over to that website. If you want to wait till Blue Friday, certainly by all means, inventory will be start shipping around the middle of December. It is en route to Canada. We have a warehouse in Toronto and I saw some people here from Toronto. The website is open, it's ready. Yeah. Get in line. Um, we're super excited to finally be able to offer um, shipping within Canada. Yeah, and we do have, so again, with Canada, waterboxaquariums.ca, we got financing with Paybright. So we got 0% interest options. We got free shipping um, and we have all of the saltwater range coming. I think you just answered the question that I had here from Reef Hacks is, is the full frag series available in Canada now as well? Yeah, so we will have the entire frag line coming in, excluding the 55.2. So we'll have the, remind me of what 85.3 and up. 85.3. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> 90 and 105. Nope. Yeah, nope. No, I'm no. wrong. <laughs> wow. All right, 85.3, 105.4, 145.5, and 165.6. It's there, it's just got to compete. Three, four, five, and six foot. I feel like that is the easiest way to portray it. There you go. 
There you go. Three foot to six foot. Um, we'll be able to, the freshwater line will be coming at a later time in Canada. Yeah. Sometime in 2021, correct? The freshwater, yes. yes so okay. now we do have the crossover freshwater, right? So the cube, all, uh, in one. all in one, and Peninsula Mini, which are also work with freshwater, will be there um, as well. So okay. definitely Perfect. hop over to waterboxaquariums.ca if you're in Canada. We've been wanting to get with you guys for a while, and we're finally there. I'm excited. It's very excited. I can't it wait is. to start seeing the water box pop up around Canada. Yeah. Um, that's really, really exciting. I mean, I think Canada was the first country where we had people asking us at shows in like it's two plus so years long. ago. And they're like, when are you coming to Canada? We're like, soon. Yeah. And then we're two years later. We finally are yeah, there. Yeah, we finally so. have made that expansion. Um, definitely check it out. It's going to be it's going to be great. We've uh, We'll have also the plus editions come in there as well. Very cool. Yeah. So hopefully we've answered a lot of questions on how to pick your water box. Uh, Blue Friday is very close. It's going to be here before you know it. Do make sure you get everything kind of ready. What model you're looking for. Get your yes. financing in, off, in order. Clear some credit cards. Pay make off a, your credit. <laughs> make a bed in the garage because that's where you're going to be sleeping. Yeah. Um, whatever you got to do. So just make sure everything's ready because the sale's going to happen Friday and Saturday. Then it's done. Yeah. And it's going to happen your, fast. It's going to be a long whirlwind day. It's going to be a lot of fun. you got a little um, bit less than two weeks right <clears> now, but you need to call your work and you need to say, guys, I just, I really need to take this day off. Um, we've had a ton of, we've <laughs> had a ton of people say that they're taking a vacation yeah. day that day. We, um, every year there's people that, it, you guys are amazing. That's why we love you guys. Cause yeah. so many people stick With around all, all day. day. Every single Eight stream, um, just loving the guests that we have, doing the giveaways. Um, it's a lot of fun. We look forward <laughs> to it every year. I mean, it's so much fun. Uh, you guys, if you ha guys haven't been uh, involved with Blue Friday, you're in for a treat. Um, not only with the education, but with the sales and worldwide. Yeah, that's that's kind of a big change from last year. Yeah, things it's always have, been things the have happened in a yeah. year. Yeah. Um, but things yeah, we're, so we'll be here next <laughs> Wednesday, which is a few days before Blue Friday happens. Yes, so definitely tune in next Wednesday. We'll be talking more about Blue Friday, giving you some more insider details. Um, thank you for watching. See you next week. Thank you all for watching. Remember, we're live on Facebook and YouTube, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and hit those notifications. We're live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us next week. Thanks for watching.